My insulin resistance and prediabetes has gotten so much worse, I think, in the last few weeks. I woke up this morning, been feeling so, so tired. I think for like the past two weeks, I've just been waking up feeling super exhausted. And I know for me, that's like a big sign that my blood sugar is off. I think the last time I tested my blood sugar was for the, um, our foods good for blood sugar or bad for blood sugar video that I posted maybe like, I think it's probably been over a month now. I think I've been kind of keeping my head down and being in like denial about how my body was feeling. I was afraid to test my blood sugar. But this morning, because it had been now two plus weeks of just waking up feeling so badly, I did test my fasting blood sugar and my blood sugar was 116. I could not believe it. That is the highest fasting number I have ever, ever gotten in my entire life. And that includes when I had gestational diabetes. So 116 is like beyond. Typically, my blood sugar falls within the uh, mid 90s range. And to give you a little bit of context, my kitchen has been out of commission because of water damage and still, we are still months and months and months away from fixing it. So we have been having to eat out very frequently. So I think my blood sugar control has really taken I mean, obviously a huge nosedive and I'm just really, really shocked. I'm glad that I checked my fasting blood sugar this morning that I had the courage to do that instead of keep burying my head in the sand because now I can do something about this. Today, I am going to really spend the day being super mindful about what I'm eating to see if I can bring that blood sugar level down. Um, I'm going to be still using that kind of balance mindset that I have been talking about in my videos. I'm not gonna be restricting like complete food groups or anything like that. I'm still gonna be eating things in moderation and let's see if I can bring that blood sugar level down. Okay, so we're back down at 91. So this is where my fasting blood sugar usually would be in the mornings. It looks like all the running around brought my sugar blood sugar down. Makes me feel a lot better. Let me show you what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. So a meal that I really enjoy is yogurt if I'm craving kind of something sweeter in the mornings. So what I did was I took um, a little bit of frozen berries that includes strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, um, and blackberries. And I took probably about like a third of a cup of that and I just stuck it into the microwave for a minute. And what that kind of does is it just melts the berries. It creates kind of like a jammy um, like consistency. So it kind of sweetens everything up. And then like I said, I'm doing the in moderation approach. So I did get some uh, reduced sugar raspberry preserves. It says that it says 50% less sugar and calories than regular raspberry preserves or jam. So if you look at the nutrition facts, one tablespoon is um, six grams of added sugar, seven total carbs. And you can see from my spoonful, I probably took, I mean, that wasn't even a teaspoon. It was probably half a teaspoon. So let's just say if I eyeball it, three grams of sugar that I'm adding into um, my berries to sweeten up my yogurt, essentially. I'm not using honey or uh, maple syrup or anything like that. So that's gonna be the thing that sweetens it up. And then for my yogurt, I'm using uh, Bellwether Farms A2 Organic Whole Milk Yogurt from grass-fed cows. I only have about, I don't know, probably like, okay, let's say like half a cup of yogurt left in here. So three fourths cup of this yogurt serving is five grams of carbs. Let's say four grams of carbs here, three grams of carbs um, from the jam, the berries, let's say 13 grams. So it's gonna be about 20 grams of carbs. And then what I'm gonna do is I grabbed the jam, I mixed it into my berries, just kind of squished it all in there, and then I dumped it into my yogurt, and then I'm gonna be eating that with almonds. And the almonds that I like are these dry roasted almonds from Costco, super, super yummy. And obviously almonds also do have some carbs, uh, about one fourth cup, which is probably what I'm gonna have, has six grams of carbs. So maybe for breakfast, a total of 26 grams of carbs, but I really do want to emphasize that other than the jam, everything else really is just like natural 
sugars, to me, that's not really a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then I'm just gonna take you along with me throughout the day. I'm gonna check my blood sugars sporadically so you can see uh, how the rest of the day fares after that 116 fasting blood sugar. All right, so I'm gonna be testing my blood sugar. It's been about an hour after I ate that yogurt meal. And while I am testing my blood sugar, I uh, just quickly recalculated the number of carbs that are in that meal. And I was pretty off. I think I calculated what, like 13 grams of carbs for the um, like a third cup of berries. And I don't know, according to Google, that's way off. According to Google, there are 16 grams of carbs in a cup of mixed berries. And I had, um, like I said, a third of a cup, but let's just even say it was half a cup, so eight grams of carbs, um, as opposed to the 13 that I calculated. So the meal that I had, oh, and also the almonds, I thought I was gonna have a fourth cup of almonds, but I only ate like 10 almonds. I mean, not to count and be like an almond mom, but I had like 10 almonds, which Google tells me is three grams of carbs. So that breakfast with the yogurt and the berries and the um, half a tablespoon of jam and the almonds was less than 20, 20 grams of carbs. I just checked my blood sugar an hour after that meal and it is at 96. And then I'm going to check my blood sugar, uh, fasting blood sugar tomorrow morning to see if all of my hard work today made a difference and then hopefully motivate me to keep going. And like I do every single day, I'm going to be taking my uh, two multivitamins. These are uh, from Ritual. Oh, I dropped one over here. I want to show you. So these are uh, my multivitamins from Ritual. I've been taking these for a while now. Important for kind of my overall health. So popping those in. And I always make sure I have my daily vitamin after I've eaten a meal because I read somewhere um, a lot of the kind of nutrients and vitamins, uh, yeah, the different types of vitamins in your multivitamin um, sometimes get absorbed better when um, there's food in your stomach versus on an empty stomach. Ever since I read that, I always make sure to take my vitamin after having eaten a meal. It's been about an hour and a half since my last blood sugar check. So about two and a half hours after I had that yogurt meal, I'm just curious to see where my blood sugar is uh, stabilizing at. 91. It's at 91 now. So, um, oh my gosh, I feel such relief. I thought my blood sugar was gonna be elevated in that 116 range all day, but thankfully not. That makes me more hopeful that tomorrow my fasting blood sugar will come back down. Okay, so I'm getting ready here to sit down for lunch and lunch is going to be leftover Mediterranean food from um, over the weekend. And what I had ordered was a bowl and the bowl was supposed to have half spring mix, half kale, chicken shawarma, garlic sauce, um, and then vegetables on top. They actually, instead of giving me kale, they gave me quinoa instead. And so it ended up being half quinoa, half a spring mix, and then the meat on top. Um, I ate all of the spring mix at the restaurant and basically just left the quinoa. So that's what I have left over here. We also had ordered beef shawarma. So there's some leftovers that I put on top. So quinoa, uh, beef shawarma, chicken shawarma, uh, pickled onions, and then hummus, a little bit of baba ganoush, garlic sauce, and then uh, I just chopped up some cucumbers that I had at home and threw that in there. So that's going to be my meal. You know, when eating out, Mediterranean food is supposed to be considered a more healthy option, and I really do believe that it is. However, when you're eating out at a restaurant, you really don't know what's going into your food. So I feel like on paper, it seems like a pretty blood sugar friendly meal. Let's see if this is going to be okay for my blood sugar. We also at the restaurant ordered a baklava, and we have one baklava left, so I'm gonna cut that in half and eat half and share the other half with my husband. Typically after lunch, I do try to work out um, depending on how much time I have in my work schedule. Today, because of my fasting blood sugar, I'm going to work out a little bit longer, a little bit harder. So I'll check back in with you guys then. Just finished my workout, I'm super out of breath. I'm gonna drink a ton of water because I am sweating Whew, my butt off. 
hopefully be able to cool down and get myself together before my work meeting. I'm gonna test my blood sugar really soon. So it's been almost, um, <clears throat> almost exactly an hour since I ate my meal. But because I just did such an intense workout, I'm just gonna let my body relax for a sec and then I'm gonna test my blood sugar in about 10 minutes, which will be 10 minutes after um, I have ate my meal. So I will check with you then. 112, an hour and 10 minutes after my lunch and after 25 minutes of intense, intense working out. I'm gonna check again in an hour and see where we are at. All right, so I just got out of my work meeting. So actually it's been now um, two and a half hours after I finished my lunch. It was 112, um, ow! my last check which was after i did that pretty intense workout again so from that check it's been an hour and 20 minutes and i'm at 100 okay good so there's so many conflicting factors here but based off of just the results of the meal quinoa may be okay for my blood sugar um obviously i'm gonna have to check it again if i have quinoa again next time what I know is that the workout helped in lowering my blood sugar. So, so far all day, my blood sugar has been in probably what is my average range, 90s to uh, like somewhere in the lower hundreds. Um, my highest reading so far has been 112, so that's good. So aside from that 116 fasting blood sugar, it seems like the rest of my blood sugars throughout the day have been within normal range. So ooh, I'm feeling a lot better about that. I was really, really scared that I just like totally shot way into the extreme end of that pre-diabetic range. Um, but maybe I'm okay and I need to just take a breath and relax and just get back on the moderate healthy eating track. So I wasn't able to walk you guys through my dinner yesterday because it was just really chaotic with um, feeding the kids, giving them a bath, getting them ready for bed, all of that. But I'm here today and I wanted to share with you. So yesterday for dinner, I had a uh, garlic shrimp Caesar salad. It was honestly so good. So the base is just your regular uh, standard Caesar salad with uh, romaine lettuce, Parmesan cheese, uh, croutons, and Caesar dressing. And then on top of that was roasted garlic shrimp and also roasted tomatoes. It was so good. There was a bunch of just like chopped up roasted garlic all throughout. It was really, really delicious. And my kids um, who are not lovers of salads had a bite and decided they wanted to eat most of it so actually more than half of my salad was ingested by my kids and then i had to eat what i had ordered for them which was turkey meatloaf with peas and a little bit of mashed potatoes so i wasn't able to check my blood sugar until about an hour and a half later at that one and a half hour mark my blood sugar had come down to 99 which was great these are the numbers that i like to see now i went to bed feeling heavy um like my stomach was pretty full you know i had been moving around as much as possible after uh dinner but we did eat dinner a little bit on the later side so i was just feeling kind of heavy feeling like the food hadn't been digested and so waking up in the morning and i'll insert the clip here that i had filmed uh before testing my blood sugar but in the morning I felt very, very tired and you guys will see um, my retainers are still in. I'm like barely able to open my eyes, uh, but let me show you guys what happened the next morning when I tested my fasting blood sugar. Okay, moment of truth. I'm testing my fasting blood sugar again. Honestly, I, I feel really tired. I feel just as tired as I did yesterday, so I don't have high hopes for a better fasting number, but let's see. Oh, 90. It's 90. Uh, some of you may be wondering why I used a different uh, glucometer for my fasting number. Well, this is the one that I used uh, yesterday morning, so I wanted to be consistent. And after um, getting that 116 fasting number, that's when I decided, oh my gosh, I need to spend the rest of the day like constantly checking my blood sugar. But I only have a couple of these uh, strips left for the contour next. Looking in here, I only have three more left, so I knew that I wouldn't 
be able to test my blood sugar um, with this one. So that's why I use my freestyle light because I have a whole new bottle of test strips. So that's what I did. You can't feel it through that clip, but I was really excited that my fasting blood sugar had come back down to 90. I really was expecting my blood sugar to be back up in that 116 range, but it looks like um, just 24 hours of being a little bit more intentional about what I was eating, um, you know, not going crazy on the more refined carbs really did help bring my fasting blood sugar back down relatively quickly. So this is a wake up call for me. Even if I'm eating out and even if it is just temporary, I know that my kitchen is still going to be out of commission for at least the next three months. So I really need to rein it in and get it together. Um, starting today, I'm fingers crossed, like I'm hitting that reset button and I really want to do a better job. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Um, it came out differently than I had expected. Like I said, I really thought my fasting blood sugar would be elevated for at least a couple days, but it was able to come right back down. And I think that really is showing the power of, um, you know, like for me, getting my act together and making uh, changes as soon as I notice that I need to and then seeing what that does. So if you found this video interesting or helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so I'm going to get back at it, get back to work, get back to eating as healthfully as I possibly can, get back to exercising daily, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.